So is Uniswap worth it for the little guy? Let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by today. So we're going to look into Uniswap. We're going to see if it's feasible for the small time trader to use. Also, it's the answer to win video for my free Bitcoin giveaway, Bitcoin Fridays. So stay tuned for details on how you can enter this week's contest. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell and setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. All right, so unless you've been living under a rock, Uniswap has had a pretty good buzz here in the last month, month and a half. So today we're just going to dive in, do a bit of a review on Uniswap and see if it's feasible for the little guy like you and me to go ahead and use. I'll also show you guys a transaction and see just how high these actual gas fees are. And finally, I'll give you guys my opinion on whether you should be using it or not. So without further ado, let's go and hop into the computer and check out Uniswap. Have you ever wanted to convert your crypto into an actual coin? Well, with Make Some Crypto, you can do just that. Take home one of the best commemorative Bitcoins today. The intricate detail of these coins is a perfect conversation starter at your next party. Stop by Make Some Crypto today. Pick up one, two, heck, pick up a whole bag for your family. Link will be down in the description. All right, so as usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below, so don't worry about searching for any of this information on your own. If you guys don't know what Uniswap is, Uniswap is a decentralized protocol for automated liquidity provision on Ethereum. You go ahead and click on About right here in Info, Unstoppable Liquidity for Thousands of Users and Hundreds of Applications. Uniswap empowers developers, liquidity providers, and traders to participate in a financial marketplace that is open and accessible to all. We are committed to open source software and building on the decentralized web. So we'll just scroll back up a bit and if we go back over to the actual homepage here and click on launch app, it'll go ahead and take you over to this page right here. And to go ahead and use Uniswap, you're gonna have to connect a wallet. I've already got mine connected. You would click up here, I can show you change. And these are the different wallets that you can go ahead and connect. Of course, the most popular one is MetaMask, but right now I'm using Trust Wallet, which is going to be right here. I actually did a video on Trust Wallet. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, should be popping up here shortly. But we'll go back and you just click on Wallet Connect. And within your Trust Wallet, you can go over to Settings. That should be popping up right now. All right, so I've got the Trust Wallet open. We go over and click on Settings right here and go and click on Wallet Connect. And as you can see, I'm already connected to the Uniswap interface. But if you're new and you just go ahead and want to connect right here, you'll be able to pop up a QR scanner and we'll go ahead and scan the actual screen on the computer here, which will be a QR code. And then of course it will go ahead and connect to the Uniswap interface. And that is as easy as it is to use Wallet Connect on the Trust Wallet. So let's go ahead and dive back over to the computer here. Once you are actually connected, let's go ahead and X out of that. It will show you your balance of Ethereum if you have a balance or not. As you can see, I got 0 0.0169 sitting with Ethereum right now. So at this point, once it's pulled up, you can go ahead and just click select token and pick any token that you want to go ahead and swap Ethereum to that token for. You can also change the different lists right here. You can go ahead and click change. There's a bunch of different lists here that you can choose from. And these different lists just have different coins to go ahead and choose from. Like I'm using right now, I'm just using the Uniswap default list. And that's basically just how easy it is to find different coins. One thing you guys want to be sure of is if you're going ahead and going to pick up a coin from Uniswap, make sure it is a reputable coin. You're going to want to go ahead and check out the actual background of these coins. Some of these guys are scammers and it's not a good way to go if you swap to their token and they just scam out on you. So it's a good idea. Go ahead and see if they've got a website and explore things of that nature before you go ahead and pick up some coin that you really don't know too much about. 
So once you have your list set up and ready to go, we go back into here and then you again, you just go ahead and click a token you want and go ahead and click, say I want to click on uh, sell, whatever that is. Then you would just go ahead and enter the amount that you would like and it would go ahead and convert it from Ethereum to sell and you should be good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you an actual transaction I did. I went ahead and bought some sushi about 10 days ago. So here's the actual transaction on sushi. I only picked up about 2.4 sushi, about $1.76 worth. But look at how much it cost me just to pick up that little bit amount of sushi. $7.85 worth of Ethereum, guys. 0 0.0207 worth of Ethereum. Now, if you are a little guy, I would advise against using Uniswap. That's just my personal opinion because with these high gas fees, it just does not make it worth it. You're going to have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go ahead and make these gas prices worth your time. Now, if you go ahead and go over to the Uniswap chart, here you can see back in September, that was when it was in its heightened frenzy. And as you can see from then, it's pretty much trickled on down. It's sitting at about a volume of 141 million in 24 hours, although that is still really good. You can see the actual sparkle on using Uniswap has gone down and it's going back to normal. Liquidity is almost 3 billion right now. That continues to rise. But again, less and less people are using Uniswap right now as far as the volume is concerned. And again, I believe that is because of the absolutely high gas fees that you have to pay for any kind of transactions on Uniswap. So if you're a small timer out there like me and you only want to pick up like $25, $50 worth of something on Uniswap, I would advise against it because you're going to be paying through the nose in gas fees. That's one of the main problems with Uniswap. Maybe at some point in the future, these gas fees will go down. But as of right now, using Uniswap, just my opinion, it's not really advisable for the small guy out there. So that's my take on Uniswap, guys. Let me know down below what you all think. I'm always interested in your guys' feedback. Right now, though, let's go ahead and hop over to my website, and I'll show you guys how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are in thecryptofish.com. Like I say every time, enter your email address right there, click subscribe. YouTube doesn't always notify you guys of my answer to win videos that come out every week. So just go ahead and enter your email address, click subscribe. I notify you via email just in case YouTube doesn't notify you. So here we are, Bitcoin Fridays, free Bitcoin giveaway, 10-23-2020. As it is every week, you're gonna to have to answer one question correctly. There's only one correct answer. It's really a no-brainer. Once you answer that question correctly, enter your name, email address. You're gonna to have to verify that email address. Be sure to check spam folders, junk folders. Sometimes that verification email goes in there. Just go ahead and look for it in there. Verify the email address. It will bring you back over to the website where you can get additional entries into the contest by following me on various social media. There'll also be a link there to go ahead and check out Make Some Crypto, where you'll get 50 additional entries into the contest just by checking them out. That's really a no-brainer there as well. Don't forget to go ahead and check out my Trust Wallet tutorial. I think you guys will find it useful if you do decide to use Uniswap. If this is your first time here, again, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell, setting all notifications. If you think somebody else would like this video, spread the word. I really would appreciate that. And with that, guys, I'll see you on Friday, and we'll see who wins this week's. Bitcoin Fridays. Take care. Bye.